On August 6, 1897, the Demeter, a merchant ship, ends up on the English shore. The cops find some stuff in the wreckage, including a captain's log. About four weeks earlier, the Demeter docks in Varna, Bulgaria. They load up on cargo for a trip to London. The shipment, which includes a bunch of big wooden crates, gets carried by some folks from Romania. If you're a fan of heart-pounding reviews, captivating trailers, and extraordinary content, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And oh, remember to enable those notifications so you never miss a moment from The Last Voyage of the Demeter 2023, a spine-tingling horror fantasy experience. They're in a hurry to split before sundown and don't want to help with the loading. They wish the crew good luck and take off. Clemens, who's a doctor, overhears that the ship needs more crew members. He tries to convince them that he'd be a useful addition because he knows his stuff in medicine and studied astronomy at Cambridge. But at first, first mate Wojciech turns him down. Not long after, Clemens rescues the captain's grandson, Toby, from getting squished. Captain Elliot is pretty impressed and asks Clemens to join the crew taking the place of a newbie who bailed when he spotted the dragon emblem on the crates. Out in the Aegean Sea, Clemens and his shipmate Olgerin spot some mysterious figure on deck through the fog. Later on, one of the crates takes a tumble and cracks open down in the cargo hold. Clemens decides to check it out and discovers a lady buried in the dirt inside the crate. She's in bad shape, almost on her last legs. He does some blood transfusion magic to treat what looks like an infection. Then, the next night, every critter on the ship including the ship's trusty dog Huckleberry, gets wiped out. The crew starts to freak, thinking there might be rabies in the mix, so they toss them all overboard. Anna, the hidden passenger, wakes up and gives them a heads up about a Transylvanian monster that's into human blood. Back in her hometown, they called it Dracula, and they had to offer her up as a blood servant to keep the thing off their backs. She says Dracula's already on the ship and hungry for a snack, showing them the chomp marks on her body as proof. At night, Dracula goes on the hunt, and he sinks his teeth into Olgerin, turning him into one of his vampire buddies. They have to tie Olgerin to a table to keep him from causing trouble. But one night, Olgerin manages to break free. He spots Toby in the hold and goes after him, eventually cornering him in the captain's quarters with Dracula. The crew rushes to the rescue, but it's too late. Dracula bites Toby as well. The next morning, Olgerin, now a vampire, gets tied to the mast by the crew. As the sun comes up, he bursts into flames. Despite some blood transfusions from his grandpa, Toby doesn't make it and ends up wrapped in sailcloth for a sea burial. During the funeral, the captain thinks he spots Toby moving. He unwraps the cloth, and sure enough, Toby's eyes pop open, and he goes after the captain. The sun gets to him too, and he starts burning up, scorching his grandpa pretty bad before the crew manages to toss him into the ocean. The crew left on board decides to take a shot at destroying the ship to drown Dracula and keep him from causing trouble in London. Dracula ends up killing Captain Elliot, Abrams, and Wojciech, and even bites Anna while she tries to save Clemens. Clemens comes to the rescue by giving Dracula a good whack with an axe, and Anna finishes the job by crushing Dracula with a piece of the mast. With Dracula seemingly done for, Anna and Clemens make their exit from the ship. Just when they thought it was over, the ship runs aground on the British coast, and Dracula manages to free himself from the mast and lets out a triumphant roar. Anna and Clemens are left floating on some wreckage from the ship. Anna spills the beans to Clemens that she's starting to turn into a vampire because of those bites from Dracula, and it turns out Clemens' blood transfusions are only putting off the inevitable. With morning on the horizon, Anna decides she doesn't want to turn into a monster like Dracula, so she willingly steps into the sunlight and goes up in flames before Clemens washes ashore. When Clemens finally makes it to London, he heads to a nearby tavern and sketches Anna's portrait in his notebook. As he's doing that, he hears the Demeter's crew using their secret knocking signal to indicate that all is in order. Then, he spots Dracula, dressed all fancy, having a good laugh at his expense. If you were spellbound by the hair-raising adventure of The Last Voyage of the Demeter, express your enthusiasm by giving that like button a hearty smash. For more updates that will keep you on the edge of your seat, enthralling movie reviews, and immersive drama thriller content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and activate notifications. And stay tuned because we've got more eerie excitement coming your way with The Last Voyage of the Demeter, 2023, a spine-tingling horror fantasy experience you won't want to miss.